All right, I was wondering if that attack would reach far. Okay, that was the one with the second one. So I'm worried about what's about to happen. Hi, my name is KK, and the pets are still bugged. All three of the ants say they are sad. None of the ants will eat. They keep making the eating sound, but nothing's happening. Brittany's still good though. So today I do want to take on the mantis, but oh, right. So the ash cement is what needs to be analyzed, not the charcoal ash. So I need to do that so I can get all of my ash structures. So today I do want to take on the mantis, but before we can do that, we have to kill the broodmother because it requires five broodmother chunks and I have used some of my chunks in crafting or building, I should say. So I don't want to just take her on one time. I've actually made 10 of these and I'll see if I can take her on all 10 times with my limited amount of healing that I'm going to take with me. I've already got some things crafted just from quests that kept requiring me to craft these things. So we'll take the liquid rage. Human food could be fine. Workers comp is not that great. And then these two aren't that great either. We're gonna go with just that. I am gonna make some more bandages though. I didn't realize I only had eight. I do have the Coltana up to level eight now. I'm just a few scarabs short getting that to 10, but we'll get those farmed up later. And obviously my roly poly armor. So I do wanna just go farm those out real quick and we'll be right back. Are you serious? That is ridiculous. As I'm leaving the base, you want to come fight me? Payback delivered, whatever. This is the only spot they got to. Like they, that one got in here and bypassed everything, just went right here to this stuff and destroyed a few things. Oh, that was weird. I thought you killed one of my baby ants. You're not dead, right? I guess you went incognito there. You blended in quite well. All right, so that's not what I want to do right now, obviously. I didn't even want to do the raid. So we'll uh, come back and fix everything later. Did some work on this right here. Okay, so for those who are counting, that was nine. I do have one more left to do. However, I am completely out of healing, except for this one bandage, but I don't have any more potions left or smoothies. So we're not gonna do that last one, but I think nine is fine. Our counts out of here, 119 web. That's good, because I didn't have a lot of that left. 10 Broodmother Venom. So that's one extra I got with the Rascal Rogue equipped, which I didn't equip it till like halfway through because I forgot about it. 18 Broodmother Fangs and 35 Broodmother Chunks. So I do think we are fine for a while. And as far as the Deuces sign goes, it's a you can feel the difference whenever you attack a spider and you get that speed boost, it's there, but it's a pointless trinket. Like if the speed boost lasted a little longer, it would be a little more beneficial. But there were times where having that little extra speed during the fight did allow me to back away from spiders a little faster. What are y'all talking about? I am gonna go ahead and make three of these, just three. You know, I'm gonna make five. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take on the Mantis five times right now. I'm not that confident in this fight. We are definitely gonna do it once, defeat her once, maybe try it more than once, hopefully not. So the Mantis is weak to salt, so we're gonna be using the Salt Morning Star. So thankfully you have this up to level nine. That is gonna give us a big boost when fighting the Mantis, which means we can also have the Ladybird Shield equipped, which is awesome because I do wanna be able to use Barbarian with it. And that way just having the shield to block, plus you wanna have a shield when fighting the Mantis anyway, or at least I think it's better to have a shield when fighting the Mantis. We're gonna keep on Meat Shield because we wanna have our health boosted. Coup de Gras so we can get those better hits and don't need Ant Annihilator, obviously. Might keep Trapper Peeper on just for those yoked blows, but we'll see. 
I do think the best bet here will be to go for damage, so I may do Shocking Dismissal as the last one. And for the smoothies, I do want to get some more of the Liquid Rage in, but we're going to put these with gum just so the effects last longer. We'll go ahead and have five of those. Want to have the human food for that damage resist. Fuzz on the rocks to increase our max health. And we'll do five of the boost juice for the max stamina. I do believe we are set to go. I just gotta remember to equip my mutation loadout as soon as we get there. I keep forgetting I have a zip line. Completely forgot about my trinket. I am going to use this entomologist badge because it gives you an attack boost. It also gives you imperfect block, which is not gonna be a concern because we're already gonna have imperfect block because of the barbarian mutation. And we're gonna be using a shield to just block. We've made it. Make sure we get everything set right. I do already have all my smoothies on the bar. All right, let's just go for it. So I do have the smoothies on the bar in the order of which I consider them to be the most important. Uh, starting with the attack boost that I just took. This is the defense boost. This is max health. I'm worried about what's about to happen. Okay, we're good. And max stamina. Ooh, ow, all right. So already off to a terrible start. Um, yeah, because I don't know her attacks. Oh, I blocked that one. Nice. Okay. Didn't know what was happening. Yeah, so just be a lot of me just jumping back because I don't quite know her attacks yet. And a lot of them are just going to be standing here uh, shielding, like right here. Because I can't perfect block anyway. Oh, I need to do a bandage. I haven't done one of those. So, so far, not doing great. Oh, yes. Okay, that's nice. Unfortunately, this is probably the only time I'm going to be able to knock her out during this entire fight. Unless I just kind of lean around for a minute. Oh, and then the stupid screams. The unblockable screams. Oh, I think that attack missed. So I don't think I blocked it. So right now I'm kind of realizing uh, I didn't make the best choice for equipment when coming in here. I mean, Salt Morningstar is good. And, you know, shielding is obviously fine. But Barbarian seems to not be a great choice because even when I block like that, I'm still taking on status effects because I can't time the perfect blocks to avoid the status effects, which right now I'm taking bleed. I want to do another bandage to be safe. She can also, ooh, that was a big attack. So she can also do uh, attack debuff, which is currently active on me right now. She also has the exhaustion recovery debuff. And the one that's not really relevant to us because we're already doing it, the imperfect shielding, which she just inflicted on us. Ooh, I'm glad I was backing away. She had a second attack on that little thing. Overall, not doing too bad though. I think I've used six of my beefy smoothies, a couple of bandages and some of the other smoothies. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, four of those. See, and we're about three quarters done. Two thirds, three quarters. Oh, nope. Heal, please. All right, I was wondering if that attack would reach far. Okay, that was the one with the second one. I gotta prepare for that. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? All right, I'm actually running through these beefy smoothies now. So is this blockable? Like, am I... In Oh, no, wrong one. That's not good. All right, she definitely became much harder down here at the end. The attacks do significantly more damage. Thank you, Shocking Dismissal. Oh, I did knock her out again. Yes, this is great timing. Come on. Come on, just keep going. Oh, I'm about to be out of stamina. All right, all right, all right. Back away, back away, back away. Not you, I wanted to back away. Of course, of course you're screaming. Yeah, like, I'm not blocking that attack. Is it possible? All right, we're almost there. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, so not bad, actually. I didn't do terrible. And by not doing terrible, I mean I kind of did a really good job, considering I've only fought her a handful of times before this fight. So that unlocked for us Apex Predator. You've become the strongest creature in the backyard and are able to bring out the hidden strength and weapons made from bosses. So Apex Predator is actually one of my favorite mutations because the weapons you get from bosses 
they each give you special bonuses. Honestly, if I didn't go through so many beefy smoothies on the first run, which I went through 12, wow, didn't realize I went through so many, I would do it again, which I could go back and get 12 and do it one more time, because uh, that really wasn't a bad fight. Like I definitely expected to be challenged a little bit more. So maybe my loadout here wasn't too terrible. I do think having perfect block though, once you know her attacks is gonna be far more beneficial than just trying to block everything by holding it down. Ooh, actually while I'm over here, I'm gonna hunt some scarabs. Can I make this jump? Oh, I don't have a top Okay. That's probably how I'm going to die is by forgetting to equip the tuft and taking a significant fall. I say fall, but it's a jump, like I jumped and it's gonna to be to my death one of these days. But I think I could have made that jump if I would have had it equipped. Also being able to make the mantis mounts and the hanging lantern. I don't remember seeing that. That must have just been something that went on the radar for me. Completely missed those two items. But yeah, so having the mantis mounts and the stuffed mantis could also be beneficial. But yeah, like using the, the stuffed mantis and the mantis mount is honestly the best way of doing it before you make any of the mantis equipment, which really this goes for any boss because it makes it easier to farm them out. So you get more of it a little bit easier and you can make the weapons and the armor and uh, anything else that can be made through those boss parts. And it's something I have been not doing and I really should have been, especially whenever I went and just farmed out the Broodmother, that could have been really beneficial. I need to make sure I have Rascal Rogue on with killing these guys. I want as much as possible. Hey, got the gold card for the Scarab. Speaking of gold card, I didn't peep the Mantis. Wow. You know what, that fight, that Mantis I killed, the one I killed, that was probably the gold card Mantis too, but you know what, not gonna get it because I didn't even peep it. There's Quartzite under this cap gun I never got. Cleared them all out, except for what's under the shed, of course, because I haven't quite been to the shed, under the shed. I got 19 twinkling shells from that. That's pretty good. And before I do anything with the Mantis parts, I want to use them on the mount. The mount gives you the damage boost when taking on the Mantis, which does pretty much use up my entire supply, but this is fine because I need to peep the mantis. Can't believe I didn't do that. Um, that's actually just gonna be a reminder for me to grab everything because I don't wanna have to try and transport the mount all the way across. So I'd rather have just everything to build it and then I'm gonna build it right next to it and then we're going to do the thing. It's just really unfortunate because I have everything I need to make the Scythe of the Blossoms. I could duplicate this stuff, but I mean, I have to go in there and fight her more anyway. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel accomplished. I wanted to do the Mantis, so we did the Mantis, even though I didn't peep her. I wanted to farm the Broodmother a bit, so we did that, even though the Melted Head was an afterthought. But before you leave, I do wanna talk about some things while I do some building here. And I have been intentionally saving this for the end, just so it only makes it to you who watch my videos all the way through. There's something that's pretty exciting and there's something that's quite the opposite. But we'll start with the exciting one. I got accepted for the first part of the YouTube partnership. Yay. They expanded it for smaller channels a while back to become partnered a little earlier. So I can have channel members now and get super likes and all that fun stuff. I originally wasn't going to do it. I was just gonna wait and do the full partnership in one go when I hit a thousand subscribers. And that brings us to the not so exciting news. So as you may be aware, I have cats. I do have two of them. Only one of them likes to be featured in the occasional video, but I also have four dogs. And one of them just went through surgery a few weeks ago. He had a bilateral enucleation, and that's the medical term for the removal of one's eyeballs. And before you ask, yes, he was already blind before that, but his ocular pressure was so high uh, and the medicine wasn't able to bring it down enough. So his eyes were causing him a lot of pain. So they just had to go, but that all went well. And he had his stitches removed just last week. And literally two days later, we find out one of our other dogs, Andy, has a partially torn CCL in his left leg and also needs surgery. And this brings us to why I went ahead and went for the partnership. Put simply, two surgeries back to back is a really hard hit. 
So I wanted to reach out here to you, to uh, the ones who have already been supporting me tremendously and potentially turn what's been a hobby into something that can help us recover. But I wanted to be able to offer something in return for those of you who are able to help. So I opened up to channel members and you by no means have to join. Just you continuing to be here is already a big help and I will continue to do what I'm doing in the way that I am doing it regardless of the response. As far as channel members go, I do have four tiers and I kind of just stuck with some of the defaults. I did initially have future plans for channel members way down the road for benefits outside of YouTube. So all of these will possibly change eventually, especially the last tier. I don't really like the idea of being paid to play with someone. If I can eventually turn this into a profit from YouTube, I would be able to spend more time doing this and having actual time set aside for it that would allow me to consistently play with other players for free, which is what I actually want to do. So that is just a for now kind of tier to help my animal family. I will be launching it with this video. So if you're interested in joining, you should be able to join at the time of watching this. You can also do super likes and all that. Other than that, if you're interested in helping for Andy's surgery outside of YouTube, we do have a GoFundMe, which I'll put the link to that in the description below. And if you wanted to share it with others, that would also be really awesome. So with all that said, if you're enjoying my content and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Also like this video uh, if you think the mantis is cute. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.